last uh, combat one. corner. Uh, combat corner before we head out of here. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. It's been announced it's going to be on Netflix. Um, as a classically trained boxer, I'm not going to discuss this because I'm disgusted by it. So I have no nothing to say. I have nothing. I'm, I'm disgusted by it. Um, I think a lot of boxing fans are disgusted by it as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave this one alone uh, before I get upset. I'm going to leave this one completely alone. Nick, do you have any any thoughts about uh, the YouTuber versus Iron Mike Tyson? I don't, I don't have any thoughts. They won't get me. They won't get me for my 77. <laughs> they won't get me for my 77. Well, that's nah. free. It's on Netflix. Well, they if you have Netflix, you're going to... They, they definitely ain't going to get me for their Netflix prices. I can... <laughs> but you have Netflix, don't you? I got somebody Netflix. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. It doesn't matter. Like, if you have Netflix, it's free. It's going to be on free Netflix. Well, you paid for Netflix, but that's it. Well, let me, I can see if I get somebody password. I don't know. Netflix don't went up. <laughs> they trying to get me to pay the five. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We, we know you're. We, we know you're. We know you're barring boozers. <laughs> nah, you know what? I actually have Netflix. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm playing around. I actually, I actually have that. I have Netflix. I have Peacock, and I got Stars. Ooh, you're coming mm. up. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I hate it. I hate everything about it. I. But I think at this point, it's like Jake Paul, whatever he does, people will complain about. It doesn't matter what he does. They're going to complain. So he fights MMA fighters who people say are washed up. But yet before every MMA fighter, they said that he would get his ass kicked. They said Ben Askren would kick his ass and he knocks him out in the first round. They said Tyron Willie would kick his ass. Tyron Willie is a trained fighter and Tyron Willie's not 50 years old. He was 37 years old, 38 years old not too far removed in the tooth. I mean, still very, very athletic and not some chump off the street, built like a tank. And what did he do? Jake Paul busted his ass. He won that fight. They rematched. He knocked him starch out cold. Donald, I know you're a boxer. Would anyone just take a punch to the face and, like, you can, you can throw a fight. You don't throw a fight getting knocked out cold. It's too dangerous. There's ways to throw a fight and not get knocked out like that. And he got knocked out in a way that was scary. So he beats him up. Then he fights Anderson Silva. And what does everyone say again? Oh, Silva's going to whoop his ass. Silva's a great MMA UFC champion. He had just beaten Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., who granted is a washed up, but yet former boxing champion. And he beats his ass. And Anderson Silva fights Jake Paul, and Jake Paul drops him in that fight. You think Anderson Silva's t- throwing a fight? Like, I think that when people say this type of thing and talk about guys throwing fights, it's very, very dangerous. Because one, most guys don't want to end up in prison. Because if you throw a sporting event with gambling lands, you end up in prison. Like, let's stop the bullshit. And there's no attorney on earth that's going to risk his license with some backdoor contracts, which you would never put in writing to begin with, because it would leave a paper trail of you breaking the law committing felonies and sit here and say, oh yeah, they're, they're setups, they're fixes. This isn't the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather bullshit. This is completely different. Logan Paul fought an exhibition with Mayweather. It was a show, whatever. But then he fights Fury. So people criticize him for that. Then he fights Fury and he loses a decision. But then he goes back and fights two other boxers. And then they say, oh, those guys really aren't boxers. Well, what do you want? A guy who has eight fights, seven fights, six fights, Typically fights bums. Am I wrong, Donald? Facts. Yeah. Facts. Typically fights bums, built, used to build records. But Jake Paul's different because he has a following and people think it's a, it's a circus. It is a, it's a bit of a circus. But he fought a guy who was 10 and 1, knocked him out cold. Then he fought a guy who was 17 and 1, knocked him out cold. So now, and yet he's still being criticized because he's not fighting Canelo. Like, why the fuck would he? I mean, his dream would be to fight Canelo, I'm sure. But Canelo's not going to fight him. It's a waste of time. It's not going to happen. So do I think Mike Tyson maybe has some financial problems? Probably. Because it makes... there's The Dallas, the state of Texas, if they sanction this, should be ashamed of themselves. The man is 58 years old in June. This is supposed to be in July. He'll be 58 years old when he fights Jake Paul. 
And people who think that he's going to win over Jake Paul, I'm sorry, he will not. He'll get knocked out. Jake Paul's not a small dude. Jake Paul's training like crazy. People who say want to say differently, Jake Paul's training his ass off. He showed he can box. When he beat Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was 27, fuck no. He'd be put through the fucking through the roof. He'd be put, put out the ring. But this is a 58-year-old man, and they keep running these bullshit clips that are clearly in fast forward, making Mike Tyson look like a destroyer. He's hitting mitts. And he's and it's going really, really fast. And then he fought Roy Jones and he and he didn't look that damn fast. So, you know, I'll watch it. Because we're going to talk about it, I'm sure. And I watch all this fucking shit as it is. But I'm disgusted that it's happening and I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, I actually like Jake Paul. I When I first saw him, I thought he was a massive douchebag. He still is a massive douchebag. But I have respect for what he's doing because all the guys that talk shit, they'll never do this. They'll never do this. And I think all these media members on national media who are acting like Mike Tyson's going to knock somebody out. Get the fuck out of here. Like, stop. Yeah, could he? Is it possible? Sure. The man will have 60 seconds of gas tank. He's 58. And after that, it'll be a fucking clinic of jabs and jabs and jabs and jabs. And I expect that if it's a 10-round fight, Jake Paul will knock him out. But this whole thought that it's a fix, you go to prison for fixing fights. I'm sure fights have been fixed in the past. I know they have. But those are real boxing matches, not this shit. Not this shit. And will Mike Tyson allow himself to be knocked out on purpose? Come on. That's all I got. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.